my author said 14 months to 17 months so I mean I haven't even gotten over that 17 month threshold yet do you see how difficult it is exactly there are some words that don't come out the way that they're supposed to hey hun welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new if you don't know me i'm robin i run a holistic beauty blog called behold and in this space we're all about feeling beautiful from inside out now as you can see by the title in this video i'm going to be talking about my braces my experience of it i've had it for almost two years now and I 100% 100% love having braces as an adult I don't feel like it's an issue I feel like it's something cool it almost feels like I have grills and I'm definitely gonna miss them when they get taken off um, but there are some things that I do think you need to know before you get braces and right now I can already hear one of the problems which excuse me a lot of people have been asking me about especially some of the people who follow me who are in the entertainment industry some people who are in radio and i would love to know your thoughts if you've been considering getting braces if you've had braces what has your journey been like let me know in the comment section below okay so the first question i always get is does braces change your speech and for the first few months, just because I was probably naive or in denial, but I didn't realize how much the braces changed my speech. And if you can hear the way that I'm speaking, I don't have a microphone on my camera right now. Um, but if you listen closely to my pronunciation, you can hear that my braces is causing a little bit of a lisp. So... For someone who wants to get braces but you're in a job like um, radio, you're a voiceover or you're a radio personality, it's probably not the right move to get braces. You can maybe get braces but then you'd have to get the ones that come on the back of your teeth and not the front because every time you speak obviously the sound flows through the brackets and it literally sounds like you're lisping. And then the second thing is, is it difficult to speak? And before I got braces, I used to consider myself as a really good communicator, not a smooth talker or somebody who was like really great at public speaking, but I do find myself shying away from conversations just because number one, I don't know if there is food in my mouth, if my braces look like a little bit stained or because sometimes the bands the brackets and the bands are rubbing up against my lip my pronunciation is just not the best now because i have braces my lip has been rested against my teeth for so long and i need to lift it higher which makes me feel like i'm speaking like i'm extra you know like i need to do more work i generally tend to not say anything or I'll just be quiet because it feels like a lot of work and the words just don't come out the same way as I want them to. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you wait which yeah I know it's a little bit of a lazy thing but it's something that's genuinely an issue. Another question that I get is about the process of metal braces compared to the ceramic braces now there's no difference between the ceramic braces and the metal braces process if you have to have your braces on for like 14 to 17 months which is what my author said initially then you're gonna have it either way like this is something that i've noticed with everyone that i've spoken to and who have had or still have braces your author will tell you that you're gonna have your braces for two years or you're gonna have it for like a year and a half and whatever and then you end up having it for like six to maybe even a year six months to even a year longer one of my cousins was supposed to have a braces for two years and she ended up having her braces for four years <laughs> so that really scared me so if 
your ortho says that you're gonna have your braces for a year be prepared to have it for much longer I mean I've had my braces for under two years now but I don't want to scare you away from getting braces because I have had a dramatic dramatic change in the way that my face looks I cannot stop smiling I love like I can't stress how much I love having braces yeah I really 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 love braces the other day I actually just looked at my first vlog in my getting braces series and I will link that in the description below but I just couldn't believe what my teeth looked like because right now my teeth are completely straight all my gaps are closing and I will show you like a closer look of what my teeth look like right now I have had a dramatic difference to the way that my teeth looks now and I love my ortho a lot of people who are in my community people who follow me on Instagram have inquired about braces and asked about which ortho I go to and they've actually been seeing him and he's let me know you know every once in a while someone said so thank you also for letting him know that I recommended him it's quite nice I'm not promoting him for any like weird reason it's just because I really really appreciate the service that he's given me my initial plan was just to get an implant because I had a missing tooth so I was gonna get just an implant but then the ortho that I went to said that my teeth was so skew because we had an x-ray he said that my teeth are so skew in like a triangular shape and that there was no way that I could get an implant because my teeth my roots would have to be straight first um, and then I could get an implant but when I went to this ortho he was like hang on you don't even need to get an implant because I'm just gonna move your teeth in such a way that they're all together and you wouldn't even need to get an implant and there I saved like 20k so I'm really really happy with your service back to the things that you actually need to know about clear braces don't be fooled by the idea of having clear braces and that nobody's gonna notice them because they are super visible if someone's talking to you they might not notice that you have braces at first but after a long conversation or looking at your mouth for a while they will see that you have braces or on the chance that your speech is slurry like or that you like lisping and stuff they'll notice that you have braces on camera they're really not noticeable I actually got silver bands which I think are the best color bands to have when you have clear braces because they don't stain when you do have silver bands though or like metal braces they're obviously more noticeable so if you do get clear braces with silver bands it's gonna be the best decision because they won't stain and they won't really look as noticeable but in photos you will still look like you have braces whereas I take photos with my clear braces and only if they are close-ups do you see that I have braces um, if they're a little bit further away from the camera then you won't even really notice that I have braces so that's one thing that I absolutely love about having clear braces I decided that I wanted to get the clear braces because obviously I like taking pictures you can see on my Instagram my booker from my agency actually suggested that I get the clear braces because these are the less noticeable and when I saw them I was like wow actually yes I love them way better than the normal metal braces but I think that the metal braces would still give you a little bit of character and if you are the type of person who doesn't mind them being noticeable then by all means get normal metal braces like the difference is only you not you not having them so visible there's no feeling or like process that's going to be sped up because you get ceramic braces it's just that the visibility like is different <laughs> oh, sorry. as I mentioned braces do stain really badly and I can see that the lights changing now I'm using natural light today which I'm actually really loving um, but the light does change so I apologize about the change in lighting and I'm wanting to upload more videos by the way thank you so much to everyone who has been subscribing if you not subscribed to my channel please subscribe so that you can 
help me get to my goal of 1000 subscribers i know like it's not like a huge accomplishment to get a thousand subscribers these days but to me that means a lot because i feel like this community is really genuine and you guys give me great feedback and i really enjoy um, reading your comments and stuff so please subscribe and let me know what you think of this and my other videos i'd love to hear from you the last thing i wanted to say is that clear braces is more expensive it depends on how much more expensive it's gonna be by which ortho you go to i think my ortho is affordable but portability is relative so what you think is affordable is not what i think is affordable what i think might be worth it you might not think is worth it i thought that getting clear braces was a hundred percent a hundred percent worth it because it was only two thousand rand more and for me, in the grander scheme of things, having my braces for so long, so I might as well make them clear. That was my thinking. If you think, actually no, I don't want to spend 2000 Rand extra because people are going to see that I have braces anyway. And I mean, I don't even mind if they're clear or if they're metal braces, then don't splurge. Mine was 2000 Rand extra than the normal price, but yours might not be. Clear braces are a little bit more expensive, but I think that they're totally worth it. Still don't mind any of the things that I've listed in my video and you're keen to get braces. I 100% am here for you. I'm happy to answer any questions and I wish you all the best for your braces journey. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe so that you don't miss my next video.